<laughs> Jesus Christ, did I fucking blow your mind? Yeah, you kind of did. <laughs> you kind of completely did. You got a love screen going back yet? Love screens that I've been told to grab it. This video is brought to you by T-Blocks. Enjoy the content now, but stay for the shilling later. Welcome to Lobster Magnet, friends. I'm here with my buddy Zavil. Yo. Uh, Goro is off doing event fun time karaoke night something or other. Uh, foregoing his incredible duty of talking about One Piece. <laughs> you, uh, you think if we, uh, you think if we send him a text, he'd record some of that so we could post it? <laughs> that that would be hilarious. Uh, I I don't think um maybe maybe we could get his uh get his attempted rendition of like forces from Berserk. <laughs> <laughs> it would be awesome if he like he just tries to like karaoke like in Japanese like one of the One Piece th- theme songs. Yeah. Um. So all right. So let's let's so, get to the uh, business. What what do you think of this good old chapter where um. Good old uh, Luffy uh, finally wins his fight against Katakuri. We were talking about that it before. Is, that is faster than I expected. It, it felt like it was definitely going to be like, like, I'm surprised you're surprised because the last chapter definitely felt like this is the final blow. Like, I like no, with the way this has kind of been dragging on, I expected like another two or three chapters. But then out of, out of fucking nowhere, it's like, oh, okay, we're done. Cool. You just pulled a random new power out of your ass. Well, th- it looks yeah, kind of uh, a lot. It looks a lot like your old other powers, and uh, we're done. Cool. So, so you you seem like you were generally pleased. Yeah. Well, yeah. The, um, there's an interesting okay, comment. I have to ask though. I I mean, I know we've already this fucking first page shit. I I know we've already seen like the swarm of Big Mom's other children, but I, I just kind of now got like a really good look at them. Like Jesus Christ, that is that is a bunch of random like. 14 year olds with scythes <laughs> I, I, like i got this like weird children of the corn mixed with like willy wonka out of this <laughs> uh, that's not a you know an unfair description for big mom's horde of children and that that's probably not even all of them like you remember like when they were going to like attack Luffy? Well, no, i mean i mean specifically the one that the ones that are all dressed the same that, that have scythes that where they, yeah, they kind of yeah, yeah. like, I mean, i'm getting like this weird children of the fucking corn vibe out of it <laughs> So it sounds like you generally enjoyed this chapter much more because, like, we we got like a little bit of resolution. I didn't hate it. Yeah, I had fun with it. Well, here's an interesting thing. Like, I was thinking about your comment from last week that, that how, like, you said, like the um, you know, you think part one so far is better than part two. So I did some digging and did some data. So we're about close to 900 chapters, right? Yeah. So. Um, the time skip happened around, like, chapter, uh, 595, like, cl- let's just round it up and say the first part is 600 chapters, okay? Okay. So far, we are 300 chapters into the, um, you know, new world, round it up, give or take, right? Okay, yeah. So, all right, how many arcs do you think we've had in the post-time jump? Oh, uh, let's see here. Fishman Island, Shabbat Archipelago. No, no, Shabbat Archipelago um, doesn't count. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, no. Not Shabby Dark, Fishman Island, um, Punk Hazard, uh, then we jumped into, um... Dressarosa. Dressarosa. And now we've got this, right? So it's four. Um, no, you, you missed a zoo, but, so it's five, five arcs. Oh, yeah, I, I keep forgetting, because that feels like such a transition arc. Yeah, yeah, it, it feels like counting water course. seven is an arc. Yeah. It, it, it feels like counting water seven is an arc. Uh, when really everyone just always remembers um, Water Sand of an Enemy's Lobby being like one part. Uh, yeah, the same yeah, it, it, yeah, exactly. Uh, that that's why it kind of feels like it's dragging so hard. Is they stuck that in the middle, and that just bled right into this. So I feel like I'm getting arc fatigue from the last because <laughs> <laughs> it just bled right into this and just didn't stop. Oh, you mean the the, the Zo arc? Or... Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I guess it kind of did. It didn't have any real, like, fight or resolution for me. It just, like, okay, let's let's burn through this so we can get to Big Mom. I, I was honestly pleased that the Zo arc was, like, so, but, like, all right, so, like, by if you use this stretch of chapters, um, and compare it to the pre-time jump era, there were 11 arcs, and it basically led up to Skypea. Okay. 
but yeah, so, uh, so what, we've got, yeah, like, four or five versus eleven. Yeah. Um, I mean, and I, I understand that, like, the first five or so were just really short because it's just a recruitment arc. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, you have a villain, you have someone who needs to be helped out, um, and, you know, pretty, pretty bog but standard even. One. Even if we, uh, even if we like combine those five into one, I mean, we still got six to what, like four, five. Uh, five. I, I still, I'd still count yeah. Zoe as like a separate arc. If you can count Amazon Lily as an arc, which still, I, I'm just saying, it, it the the the, the pre time skip feels like it it moved a lot faster. Well, because they had more arcs, there was more variety, there was, like, less stuck in, like... So, that's an interesting question I want to propose. Like, on one hand, you could argue that, like... Uh, I mean, I, I'm mostly in agreement towards you. Like, I, I prefer, like, shorter, more condensed arc versus these bigger arcs. Uh, but, like, you could argue, like, that because this is the new world, that, you know, these problems take, you know, ten times more chapters to resolve than, you know, Don Krieg. I don't know. I uh, on one hand, you're right. On the other hand, uh, there's a lot of unnecessary characters that are introduced. Um, and I feel like it would go a long way to streamlining the, the arcs if we didn't have to introduce every single one of Big Mom's children. Just suffice to say that there are a lot of them. You could stick tons of them in the background, never bother naming them or giving them uh, all these cameos or anything. Put them in the background, make it flavor, and stick to a core group of people that you actually care about. Uh, that's interesting. Uh, and yeah, I do a certain degree. Like, in the beginning of the arc, that's when we have, like, the most tolerance for, like, just introducing new characters. But, like, when it's the end of the arc, it's like, all right, it's time to get out of here. Let's let's do something oh else. Oh, my that's God. Please don't introduce someone new. I don't care. <laughs> I don't care that you want to be the little sister king. Shut the <laughs> fuck up. You've done literally nothing. You've impacted this fight in no way. All you've done is, like, take up two pages or more when we could have been advancing the story. And instead, we got, like, what? Like, this giant fucking intro panel. We had information about it. Yeah, we got, like, her and... Bullshit. Yeah. No one cares. (laughs) You you were never going to come back. I, I and it's looking like surprised. Goro was theorizing that, theorizing that Oda was like setting up this whole thing that he was going to like kind of like Brule how it became an unofficial straw hat throughout this whole arc uh, that like, you know, the little sister king was somehow going to make a bubble and Luffy was going to escape through the mirror using that bubble. Looks like that is not happening. No, it is not. <laughs> She's just an extraneous character. She was one an extraneous many. character who was only there for one purpose to little sister king and you know to laugh at luffy and then category to like and then show oh she's a shallow bitch who like laughs at the big brother she says that she admires even though you know once he reveals his face to her also i mean let's once again fuck pudding fuck pudding (laughs) fuck pudding fuck pudding well here's my big question like do you think she like gave him a kiss that that was the whole point of the like taking the cigarette out I, I I hope not. I know, you just want to be, like, done with pudding, and you hate the fact that she's, like, gotten this redemption arc. And she doesn't deserve it! No! She's being weird in Yandere. It's it's kind of unpleasant to watch. Yeah, like, yeah. Like, they, they're, like, there needs to be a real, actual redemption arc here. Like, she needs to do something honestly important. To make up for the fact that she literally mind rapes people. <laughs> literally mind rapes people. Just gonna keep saying that. <laughs> Until it sinks in. Until it sinks in. Until it fucking sinks in. Yeah, she definitely, like, uh, she didn't really get like, a good redemption. Oh no, you've treated me nice and now I'm sad. I, I, I Okay, great, great, great. I mean... You you shot someone and then edited their memories. You 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 have made it abundantly clear that you are you have just had no problem being a bad person. And if there was something more traumatic in her past than that, I I, I would be more willing to get on board with that. But 
honestly, it feels just like bad writing considering like the weird shit Big Mom puts up with. Like up like uh, I I I haven't gotten any anything out of fucking um dog tooth. It's like Big Mom made fun of me for my weird fucking face. <laughs> Which is something you'd think might happen. But we never got that. Or, uh, we, we've never gotten anything out of the myriad of other weird bullshit. Like, no indication. So it, it, this just feels like this was shoehorned in because she had to have a reason to have a tragic backstory. So we didn't immediately hate her for being a monster who just toys with people's minds. Yeah, and, and the fact that she, uh, uh, whatchamacallit, you know, never really, she still has her, like, dual personality, Yandere still being nasty, yeah, bitchy. Yeah. For and... me to like her, for me to be on level with, like, okay, yeah, she's had a really fucked up past, and uh, I, I feel like anything she does, maybe not justified, but I can understand where she's coming from, she would need a Boa Hancock level backstory. Mm-hmm. Where, uh, like, you know, that she's like, uh, it was funny though, you, you forgot about the Bo Hancock story, and then you've been recently rewatching it with your fiance, and then you, 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 you sort of rediscovered it and liked it a little bit better. Yeah. Well, no, I, I always remembered it. Um, and I, I never really hated Bo Hancock, but like rewatching it, I was like, yeah, Jesus Christ, that's really fucked up. Uh, and then like watching like uh, her behavior around movie, like, okay, yeah, yeah, this is. This is the level of shit that I would have to, like, see out of putting for me to like her. Versus, you know, just sort of like, oh, people were mean to me. And even Big Mom, whose stick is that she loves, she wants all these deformed children from all, you know, screwing all, every racist person in the world. Big Mom was mean to me, so I stabbed another child. <laughs> Let's say that again. Someone was mean to me, so I stabbed them. <laughs> As opposed to, like, poor Boa Hancock, whose entire thing was, like, so I was a slave for most of my life. And let's not think too, let's not think too deep about exactly what that entails, because this is a children's show. Ahem, let's just move on. <laughs> because they made me eat the love, love fruit. And so I'm kind of really mentally fucked up. And I hate men. It's like, okay, yeah, I'll, I'll buy that. Right, yeah, no. Uh, yeah, like, literally, uh, maybe not justified, but understandable. You are mentally damn. You are just really damaged. And I kind of understand where you're coming from. Whereas this is just like, Jesus Christ, what, what? I mean, any normal child be like, Timmy made fun of my cleft lip, so I stabbed him in the face. It's like, Oh, okay. Uh, I I think you need to see a child psychiatrist. Well, I guess you could say you could compare her backstory to like Big Mom's backstory, where like I have an eating disorder, so I'm just gonna murder all these children and my mother. Yeah, but figure. even yeah, but even that wasn't um was it an intentional decision? I feel worse for Big Mom out of Big Mom than I do for Pudding because that as far as we can tell, that wasn't a conscious decision, and she's kind of freaked out and scarred about it. True. Whereas versus pudding, pudding, this was this was this was clearly like a decision on her part, and maybe we haven't seen how bad the bullying got, or what the fuck, or maybe maybe in the anime we'll we'll see like I don't know, Big Mom just like putting a cigarette out in her third <laughs> eye or something. <laughs> well, they're, they're gonna like, need some filler. Something I don't know, but right now I just it's not there. It's not working for me, and. Right now, Sanji just kind of looks like a jackass. For, like, you know, supporting just playing her. along with this. Yeah. And, and just, like, being so painfully nice. It's weird seeing this out of him. Because out of everyone, he's, he's kind of one of the grumpier straw hats. True, but the he he always like generally treats women. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I know. that's that's his I, that's his shtick. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's something I think he needs to evolve through because uh, it's kind of weird and sexist. But whatever. I just anyway. So let's get off the pudding train because I'm sure people love hearing me harp about that. <laughs> 
Um, but so, so were you ultimately satisfied with how Luffy uh, won this fight against Katagiri with like the final blow, and then Luffy like dodges, you know, his you know being hit in the head or something? Yeah, yeah, I was pleased about it. It was a little fast. Um, I was kind of expecting something like big and rel- revelatory, but this is. This well, is a good way they, to avoid arc fatigue. It feels like things are finally moving along, and I'm happy well, about that. We had a lot of Luffy versus category. We we yeah we, we did. had we like did. a fair amount. I, I think don't... part of my problem is it all kind of felt samey. Yeah, it was. It didn't feel like Luffy learned like, like a there big was lesson. no standout moment of this fight that left me going, "Oh shit, motherfucker!" Things got real, <laughs> and 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 it's just like okay, there's punching. There's punching. There's still punching. Man, that that small child looks really fucking weird. She looks like she looks like a squash. <laughs> there's punching. There's punching. And we're done. <laughs> yeah, yeah, pretty much. Uh, and you could say that, like, in some ways, you know, Luffy outwilled him because it definitely did not feel like a fight where Luffy outfought or, you know, outthought yeah, him. Yeah, this just feels like a slug match. Like, there, there was no strategy to this. This was just, like, a beat down <laughs> pretty much a good old-fashioned up to the wall crocodile rob lucy style uh yeah. L- luffy's fortitude i did like that panel where like category stands up over him and then before he falls down and he's like you know are you gonna fight big mom and he's like of course because i'm gonna be king of the pirates it's like oh i guess you can see that far into the future <laughs> S- sort of like accepting his will yeah okay so Everyone's favorite bird came back. Big news, Morgan. Big Fuck news, him. Morgan. <laughs> I, I, was, I, 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 I love him way more than I probably should. He's <laughs> probably the only incidental character that we might not really need. That I fucking love to death. <laughs> well, like, if he got stuffy, away, that'd be pretty she's, big she's news. Zero, and um, and all this other good shit. But big news, Morgan. He's a bird in a hat, and I really just want to know what the fuck. <laughs> are, are there like bird minks? Because I've never seen one before. Are, did, did he eat like the canary, canary fruit, fruit model fucking Sesame Street? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what's going on here, but I need. I I want to. I want to so bad. You want context for the big news, Morgan? <laughs> yes. That 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 is fair. I think we all want context for the big. We we just wanted to get that big news. Yeah. Any yeah, chapter with big news. <laughs> out of all hey, big... anyone with a name like Big News Morgan, I mean, we we there has to be, that's fucking Chekhov's gun. There has to be payoff for this. <laughs> well, here's the question though. After we're done with like the adventures of the Straw Hats, do you think Big News Morgan gets his own um, you know, uh cover arc story? Fucking Chekhov's Pulitzer, of course he does. <laughs> <laughs> would love to see that well fingers crossed that like you know big news morgan makes it to the reverie and he's just like reporting there yeah yeah that would be awesome at at another sidetrack i'm i'm still pissed off with how much fucking filler there is post time jump and I, i i really wish they would just start animating all of the fucking um oh the 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 side uh, stories the fucking cover stories i i i would watch like 10 episodes of NL's fucking magical moon adventure. <laughs> that is kind of amazing that they never actually like did that. Um, they did it a couple times. Like they did it with buggy. Yeah. Buggy. Got one. Um, and then they adapted, um, aces, uh, jump into that, uh, Marine base to deal with the straw hats instead. Um, really? Huh. I wasn't quite sure yeah. about that. I know, of course, they did Warple's one in, like, a two-minute flash. <laughs> the only thing that made me fucking care about Warple. I hated him so much in his actual arc. And then all of a sudden, he just, like, shows up with a fucking tree for a goddamn head, eating everything in his path. And all of, like, I, I cannot fucking get enough of him. I, I would just watch that shit all day long. <laughs> I would watch a spinoff manga just about all the weird shit he can eat and turn into. Yeah, it's, it's kind of a shame that they don't, like, use those, like, storyboards. And, like, th- that seems like the best sort of, like, filler you could ever ask for. It does. Fuck me. It's like, come on, guys. Just just give me that. <laughs> but all right. No. All right. So, so let, let's get to a score. Um, what would you rate this chapter? 
I think you give it an eight. Yeah, I, I think that's a solid. It gave a good end to the fight. It feels like things are moving on. It feels like, you know, we've gone from like 15 to 20 chapters to the end to possibly five to 10 or, or chapters to the end of the arc. Yeah. So we're getting there. We're getting there slowly. And mostly I'm giving this an eight because it feels like things are finally moving along and maybe we'll see something really cool next chapter. Yeah, we'll get to see Luffy's. Uh, oh, yeah, we almost forgot to mention. What do you think of the return of Pekamos? I, 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 fuck, um. <laughs> He's just, like, one of those characters you, you barely remember. No, no, like, I remember him. I just, like, he keeps showing up, like, oh, Jesus Christ, that's right, you're alive. Well, didn't You're alive, Capone, and I guess you're important. Didn't Capone, like, shoot him and then throw him into the sea, which is supposed to, but then again, like, shooting someone is, like, the least destructive thing yeah, you can Jesus, do. Jesus, yeah, I, I mean, come on, that's, I feel like that's the One Piece equivalent of a paper cut. <laughs> pretty, pretty much. The, the, him throwing into the ocean was supposed to be, like, the big final thing, but I, yeah, I guess... I, yeah, throwing some in the ocean is a little more threatening, but, I mean, again, it's one piece. And it's fucking vampire rules. You have to cut off their head, stuff it with garlic, and then bury the body and the head in two different places. And honestly, for Buggy, even that's not gonna stop him. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah that, that, that is very accurate. Um, but, uh, you know, he's coming to save the day, so no little sister king. It looks like Pekhemos is gonna be, yeah. be the guy who's Luffy's savior, and he's got the weird, like, leather gimp mask or something, and he's like, ah, Mysterios. Where do we, where does he get this shit? I don't know. Like, did he I use mean, at least, turtle turtle at least, fruit to, like, get out, maybe? I don't know. Like, at least, um, fuck. Uh, at least Soga King made sense. He stole fucking Frankie's mask. Oh, wait, did... He did. <laughs> it's all connected. Go to works in mysterious ways. I cannot believe I never picked that up. I cannot believe I never noticed that detail. Yeah. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Jesus Christ, did I fucking blow your mind? You, you kind of did. <laughs> you kind of completely did. <laughs> if it wasn't like, wouldn't mess up the recording, I'd look it up right now. <sighs> hey, hold on, hold on. Let's see what we got here. I'm, I'm like 90% sure he did. Wait, maybe not. I could have sworn that was the same fucking mask. You sure? Let's see here. Type in Frankie Water 7 mask. Yeah, let's see what we got here. Oh, shit. No, it just looks really similar. Ah, uh, damn. Lame. Oh, oh. Now it's like you told me Santa isn't real. Yeah, damn. All right. Yeah, it's it is just close enough that, that I, I I made that mistake. All right, let's take a look here. So here's um here's Frankie's mask. And I'll I'll, I'll have to look at it after the um yeah or maybe yeah, I'll it is, it. it's close enough but not quite there. Damn it. All right, so th that finishes our thoughts on this week's chapter. What do you think? Are you happy the fact that, like, we spent 75 chat? We're going to spend 75 chapters in Tot Land. Are you getting arc fatigue? Are you happy that Luffy got his final <sighs> victory? Were you annoyed that, like, uh, didn't think Luffy earned it and was smart enough, even though Katsuguri was, like, better than him? I still miss I mean, my Luffy's, end. Luffy's never fucking smart enough. This is just a slug match, <laughs> and we all kind of knew how this was going to turn out. Yeah, yeah. So, so yeah. All right. I gotta get out of here because I have like 10% battery life remaining. I gotta plug my fucking laptop, laptop in. Alright, so thank you for hanging out with us, and uh, remember lobsters and tennis, but don't you grab it. Alright. Uh Do you like clothes but hate shopping? Then T-Blocks is the subscription service for you. But I know what you're thinking. But Lobster, how is that any different than New Crater and other subscription services? Well, T-Blocks sends you t-shirts, which is clothing, which is actually useful, unlike the useless swag junk that Loot Crate keeps peddling on gullible schmucks. 
And this isn't just knockoff brand crap. T-Box hooks you up with licensed shirts for all the stuff you love, because you need clothes. How else are you going to keep your puny human man flesh protected from the elements? T-shirts are useful for any occasion. Wear them. Give them to friends. Give them to enemies. Knit them together. Make a quilt. T-shirts are life. And you know the best part? It'll only cost you $6.99. That's right, you can get 12 shirts sent to you for once a month for only $6.99. And you know what? If ultra cheap licensed goods are too basic for you, then there's also the Community Tea Block set, which features original designs from the best up and coming artists so you can keep that hipster street cred. But I'm here to save you even more money! Use the code LobsterTBX at checkout and you'll save 10% on any order. Be a t shirt wearing God amongst mortals. Use the power of the most expensive seafood to get you the cheapest t shirts now!